Hello, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Dawn with the Terry Library branch of the Central Arkansas Library System. Are you ready to get started? Let's see if we can find our friend Mouse hiding behind one of these houses. Can you help me with the colors of the houses? What color is this? Yellow. And this color is red. How about this color? Green. Do you know this color? Orange. Good. And this one is blue. Okay, our rhyme goes like this. Little mouse, little mouse, come on out and play. We want to know where you're hiding today. Do you think that the mouse is in the greenhouse? Let's look. Oh, he's not hiding there today. Let's say our rhyme again. Little mouse, little mouse, come on out and play. We want to know where you're hiding today. Do you think he's in the blue house? Let's see. Nope, not today. Little mouse, little mouse, come on out and play. We want to know where you're hiding today. What color? Orange? Let's do it. No, he's not there today. Okay, let's say our rhyme again. Little mouse, little mouse, come on out and play. We want to know where you're hiding today. Which one should we do? Red? Let's do it. Oh, there's the mouse. The mouse was hiding in the red house today. Well, thank you for your help with that. Okay, let's do a song. This is Clap Everybody and Say Hello. Are you ready? Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. What kind of weather are you having where you are today? We have a nice sunny day here at the library today. Okay, let's sing that song again, but this time, instead of saying hello in English, let's say hello in French. Do you know how to say hello in French? We say bonjour. Let's say that again, bonjour. That's how you say hello in French. Here we go. Clap everybody and say bonjour. Clap everybody and say bonjour. Clap everybody and say bonjour. Now let's read a book together. Okay, the book I have for you today is called My Family is a Zoo. It's by K.A. Gerard and it's illustrated by Emma Dodd. My daddy has an elephant he got when he was three. It travels with us everywhere. It's quite a sight to see. Me, I have my big brown bear. Surprise, his name is Teddy. And whatever the adventure, he is there, waiting and ready. Today we're going for a drive to where I cannot say. We should arrive by lunchtime with some stops along the way. Meet my sister and the whale that she swims with in the ocean. It's big and blue and blubbery and smells of suntan lotion. Here comes my older brother with his purple dinosaur. They may not seem ferocious, but you should hear them roar. Look, my cousin's kangaroo has a switch that makes it hop. Perhaps the switch is broken. The hopping just won't stop. 
Can you hop like a kangaroo? <laughs> There's my uncle and his penguin that he once left on a bus. It traveled round for months before returning home to us. My auntie owns a monkey with sticky outy ears. She bought it on vacation. She just loves her souvenirs. Grandma's brought her bunny, whose coat is bald and worn. It's been loved and hugged and cuddled since the day that she was born. Grandpa's got his tiger that once slept in their bed till Grandma put her foot down. Now it lives in Grandpa's shed. Even Boomer has a puppy that he carries in his jaws. And every time he goes to sleep, he hugs it with his paws. Now we're all together with barely room to spare. Can't wait to see if Mommy likes these brand new polar bears. We make a strange menagerie as we pile out two by two. We're not so much a family, more a family zoo. At last we have arrived me, Ted, and all the others. And just why have we come here? Let's find out. To meet my baby brothers. Oh, look. I guess that's who the polar bears were for. The end. Do you have a favorite animal that you like to snuggle with? I sure do. Okay, let's do a little finger play and it goes like this. Can you cup your hands like that? Put them together. This is a nest for bluebird. And make a fist. This is a hive for bee. Can you make a hole? This is a hole for bunny. And this is a house for me. Let's do that again. Gonna cup our hands first. This is a nest for bluebird. This is a hive for bee. This is a hole for bunny. And this is a house for me. Good job. Okay, we've got a door. And let's knock on our door and see well, actually, we're going to answer the knocks on the door and see who's behind it. You ready? Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's grandparents come for a visit. Hello, grandparents. So glad to see you. Do you have grandparents that come to visit you? Some people call their grandparents Nana or Papa, Mima, Peepa. There's all kinds of names for your grandparents. And your grandparents are your parents' parents. Let's see who else is at the door. I hear a knock, knock, knock. Let's see who's there. Oh, it's cousins. Some cousins have come to visit. Do you have cousins? Cousins are fun to play with. You might have boy cousins or girl cousins, but the cousins are the kids to your aunts and uncles. Oh, I think I hear a knock again. Who's there? Let's see. No, oh, it's a puppy dog. You know, pets are part of our family too. Do you have a pet that you have at your house? Some people have dogs, some people have cats or bunnies or even horses. I have a dog that lives at my house. That's my pet. Oh, I think I hear a knock again. Who's there? Let's see. Beat 
pizza. Did you order pizza? All right, come on in, Mr. Pizza Man. We'll have that pizza for lunch. All righty, I have a craft for you that I'll tell you about after we do skin a rink Are you ready? skin a rink a dinky dink skin a rinky do I love you. skin a rink a dinky dink skin a rinky do I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. skin a rink a dinky dink skin a rinky do I love you. Good job. All right, the craft I have for you today is to make a family tree. And what I did was I cut out a piece of brown paper and you can color in a trunk instead if you don't have brown paper. And then I traced the family, the people in my family, I traced their hands and cut them out and then I made the leaves on the tree. So you can do that for as many people as you have in your family. And I think it would be really neat if you could even get other people like grandparents and cousins and make a really full tree. That would be fun. If you haven't already picked up an early literacy bag, you can get one out front of our library in a silver bag. There's also a craft bag that is a blue bag and that has an additional craft in there that you can use. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.